everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps, and today I want to share with you a quick little um, little project idea that you can tinker around with if you've got any um, bottle caps. Now today, the ones that I'm using, I got a Tuesday morning, and I believe it was six to a pack, and they're just these um, like little metal flower looking kind. So you can see like this. Well, I guess they're all metal, duh. But they are flower shaped. They got like little petals and stuff. And they're not painted or anything like that. And then what I also found there were these little metal flowers for 99 cents. Now I also had another pack. It came with one little flower and it had a metal frame. But I used a metal frame on something else. But they had this one pack of these little um, silver metal flowers. So what I've done is this. Made these little bottle cap um, little ideas and you could you know you could probably um, maybe you know put a hole in this somehow or put in a little maybe you make it into a keychain or you can make it into a magnet or just some little trinket you know just to sit on your desk or something fun and you know pretty girly looking <laughs> but I thought these were kind of fun and I thought I would show you um, how I put these together. And it's, it's pretty, pretty easy. Now the supplies that I used was some kind of pop dot. And this sheet I got at Michael's. Uh, I think it's a dollar for this whole sheet of these little circles. Um, obviously some little scrap piece of paper to catch your glitter in. And then whatever kind of embellishment that you want to put in the center here. Like I said, I use these, which I got at Tuesday morning. And then some kind of glue adhesive. Um, I got this at a local dollar store. It's just a glue, permanent glue pen. Um, but I'm sure white glue would work just fine, like school glue, if that's all you have. And then all you simply are going to do is I'm going to glitter this inside first. Um, on these two here, I used yellow glitter. I used this one. Um, I'm probably going to use green on a couple. And then I've got a pink. And they're pretty pale, pretty pale colors. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glitter this inside. I'm just going to take my glue and add it to this inside here. Any kind of permanent glue would work. I'm just going to put some in it. This. And then I just use a little sponge, a little makeup sponge. And I'm just going to smear the glue around. I mean, you could use your finger, maybe even a tissue, paper towel, or something like that. But I kind of want a nice, good, thick layer of glue on the inside of this flower. So it's nice and coated on the inside. Like this. Okay. And I think that'll do fine. So you've got a nice, thick um, application of glitter. Um, let's see, I think I'll do pink for this, for this one. I'm just going to drop it down inside, filling up the little flower. Now if you want, you can use your finger to help spread it around if you want. Depends on how messy you want to get. I'm kind of tapping it and packing it in. I'm just going to dump this excess on this paper. So then what you're left with is something that looks like this on the inside. Now you can, you know, tap it a little bit to get the excess off. Of course, it'll stick better once it's good and the glue is good and dry, once it sets up and stuff. So I'm going to pour this back in the container. Like this. Okay. Go ahead and glitter up. We'll glitter up one more in pink. So we've got two yellow, I'll do two pink, and then two in green. Again, just going to smear, spread this glue around. Like I said, you could use your finger if you want to. I just don't want to get, because I'm working with glitter, I don't want to have glued fingertips and then pour, <laughs> touch the glitter. Then it just seems um, a little too messy. You could also use a Q-tip to spread this around. I just happen to have these makeup sponges handy, so that's what I'm using to smear this around. Q-tip would probably work pretty easy for this. Right. 
and try not to get the glue um, on the actual petals. And I'm going to show you why on that in a, in a minute, what we're going to do with those. Okay, just going to push that off to the sides. Just want to coat the edges pretty good with the, the glitter. I'm just going to dump that out. Now I did get a little bit up on the edges there, but that's okay. It'll be fine. I'm going to tap off the excess there. Okay, so there's a pink one. Okay. I'm going to glitter up two more uh, of the green ones. If you'd like to fast forward past this portion of the video, you're more than welcome, but... I'm just going to go ahead and keep going um, the full process. I'm not going to not going to cut any of it off. I'm just going to go from beginning to end. I'm just going to smear this around inside. Now this would work for um, any bottle caps really. If you get bottle caps, you know how sometimes the insides they aren't colored. It's just the outside is. And if you would like to kind of do something for the inside, you know, you could do this as well. Glitter it up if you'd like, right? Or maybe even tissue paper. You could probably glue in some tissue paper if you'd like a more smooth surface on the inside if you didn't want to have to paint them. Okay, just pushing this around. Okay, I'm gonna dump that out. Yeah, see that looks that looks pretty good. I did get some up on the edges, but that'll be okay. We're going to cover that up. Or, sort of. <laughs> Camouflage it. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. This is actually a fun little project that the kids could get involved with. Um, I think I'm not sure how well glue and glitter translates into kids projects, <laughs> but most kids like glue and glitter, so they might have fun getting it all over themselves. A little fun little summer project or spring project. Okay, so that's nice and covered. I'm gonna dump that out as well. All right, so let me clean up my mess here. All right, so now see, I got it on my finger anyway. Oh well, that's what happens when you craft, I suppose. Actually, I'm getting glue on everything somehow. This is why I don't show a lot of process videos of me making things because I'm kind of a messy crafter and. I don't watch what I'm doing and I just I sling stuff everywhere and I get glue on everything and myself and I'm just, oh, I'm so messy. If I figure out how to make presentations without making a complete mess of everything. Okay. And the next thing I did was, we'll get our little flowers here. All right. So the next thing I did was select some flowers. Should give me a paper towel right there. There we go. There it's peeling off. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've got these little, and they come on a little dot, but that little dot doesn't stick very well to this glittered surface. So I'm actually going to reinforce it with a little bit of extra glue. So then what you do is you just want to pick out, you know, your color combination. So here I've got two pinks, so I'll probably pair those with the green. But for right now, I'm going to do this little blue one. Okay. And and get me a little pop dot. Like I said, as you can see here, when I peeled it off, see it, it's pretty fr pretty flimsy. You can actually just peel that off. So, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put one of these on the back, centering that up. There we go. And then to reinforce this little pop dot, I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue on it because I want it to stick um, good to this glittered surface. And sometimes these little adhesive um, pieces on foam don't like to adhere to glitter very well. So I'm just going to center this up into the inside. Okay. 
pressing that down. And it'll set up, you know, like any glue, it takes it a minute to set up on the inside. But after you let it sit for maybe a minute or two, it should be just fine, just like these are. These aren't coming out. So I tried, lay, I, I did look at laying the flower just inside, and I didn't like how it was all the way down inside of the, I'll show you on this one, I don't know if you can see that. I, I don't like how it lays down inside like that, but I liked it raised up a little bit, and that's just my preference, so whichever you prefer. Now, once you have this inside, what I did is, like, for this one here, it's got a little blue center. Like, this one has a little pink center, so I did pink petals. So, for this one, I'm just going to grab, like, a blue Sharpie, like this one here. And I'm just going to color the petals. And it actually colors in really nicely on this metal surface. And it stays. Once it's good and dry, actually, that color is pretty light. You can hardly see it. Might go with the next color up. Let's see how that turns out. Here's this blue one. Let's try this one. This one might be better. Yeah, that's better. We'll do this color. It's a little bit more vibrant. And so you're just going to go around this edge here. Try not to color your fingers like I just did. And we're just going to color in the petals. See how that's turning out? I'm just going to keep doing that. And it's really quick. And really simple. I mean, I guess you could always color the inside of this metal piece with a Sharpie if you wanted to. I just now thought of that. I guess if it adheres and stays permanent to the these this, these little petals, it should do the same thing to the inside if you didn't want to have to glitter. Or like I said, if you buy some... I mean, I don't know how it's going to work on all... Um, bottle caps, but these right here are like a really thin metal. And so they seem to color up pretty nicely. I don't have any bottle caps that aren't colored on the inside that I can test that theory on. So and you want to let this um, the marker ink dry really well. And once it's dried, it, it's not going to come off. Oh, there you have it that's it on that one so yeah I think that turns out pretty cute and I like it matching the blue on the center there let's see I think that's pretty cute let's do a green one let's see yeah let's do a green and purple I bet you that would be pretty um well let's see I don't want to uh, well, I got too pink and I don't want to do pink on pink so Shoot. Uh, looks like pink and hmm. Oh, I already did a pink. Duh. I guess I can do purple. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So purple, pink, yellow. Yeah, that'll be that'll be cute. Let's do this purple one. I just want to see what the purple one how that turns out. Uh, let's get this here. Now see that that little dot stayed on, so that'll be fine. I'm just gonna center it up again. I mean, if it peels off, it peels off. If it doesn't, then it's okay too. Same as the other one. I'm just gonna put a dollop of glue on the back of this because I, I don't want it to pop out. So I want to make sure it's good and stuck down. I'm really just using the the foam dot as more of a you know just to to raise it up more than anything. So I'm centering this in. Now on these particular ones, I'm lining, you know, the petal to petal so that it's a, a line going straight down so that it's nice and centered. Just pressing that in. Okay. And I think we'll do this one. Let's see how this turns out. It looks the same as that one. Boo. Well, I got another purple one. I guess I should have tried the lighter purple first, huh? But the light purple is just too light. Can't hardly see that. So I guess I'm going with this dark purple. But it looks very similar to the pink though. Maybe once it dries it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll get darker. I guess I could always go over it once it dries. And make it an even darker purple color. Like a violet. 
I like it against the green though. I think that looks pretty. So this is pretty quick and simple. And you can use these on maybe a card layout or something or I don't know. Make it like I said, make a keychain. Obviously you can make magnets. I mean, these bottle caps make simple, quick, and easy little magnet gifts that you can make at home. Um, you could probably adhere this to like a picture frame. You know, maybe you got a picture of, uh, I don't know, something with your kids during spring. Or maybe you got some Easter photos coming back from Easter time. You could, you could make you a picture frame and then... You know, add these to like the corners and make a nice picture frame embellishment. So, so there we go. There's a green one. I don't know. I might go ahead and finish these two. I mean, we've come this far. Might as well just finish the last two, right? So we'll do both of these pretty quick. Get all two more pop dots. I'm enjoying these bottle caps. I have not done a lot of projects with them. Um, I've seen some ladies where they fill them in, you know, with like epoxy or something, like a filler, which I haven't done that or anything, but are they make the little shaker um, bottle caps? I haven't done that either. So, but I'm, I'm enjoying uh, just trying to come up with um, little little decorative ideas that you can do and one more okay. there we go all right so for this one I've got yellow um, but my color options I got this sharpie I don't know how that's gonna turn out let's see how this uh, how this looks I don't know, you can't really, you can't really see it. Hmm, I got an orange one, but I don't know if that's going to be, I don't know, we'll just stick with this color, it matches the little, I can always let the Sharpie ink dry a little bit and then come back over it with a second layer, it might make it a little bit more vibrant. No, it's kind of showing up, but you can see where I went over it. I went over the edge a little bit right here with the glitter, and that, that's okay. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Probably would have been easier with a Q-tip than using the sponge. The Q-tip probably would have been easier to get it along the edge of the, you know, the glue on the inside without going over the edges. But that's what I had handy, so that's what I used. I don't know, you can kind of see that. No, it's not as vibrant as the, the purple and the pink and the blue, so I'll let that sit for a little bit. I may come back and change that to a different color. And then I've got one more with the pink center. Oops. And I smeared it before it dried. Oops, my bad. So this will just do another pink. Got a hot pink one here. Well, I've got a pale pink. Let's see how pale pink looks. I don't know, you can't hardly see that though. Well, the other ones are dark pink, so I guess just to be different, I'll do pale, pale pink on this. Which again, I may go back over this, because you can't, you can't hardly see it. It's very subtle. So I guess if you want a subtle look on the petals, you could just use a lighter color like I've got with this one. Here. There we go. I don't know this. I don't know if you can even tell that I colored it. It's very, very pale. I don't know. You can't really tell on these two. I'm not really liking the pale look. So I'm gonna go over this with the pink one. <laughs> yeah, I like the bright colors. I don't like the pale, the pale ones. I want them bright and noticeable. And you can't hardly see. 
the pale pink. So. But if you like the pale pink, I mean, that might be pretty for a shabby, shabby look maybe. With the paler, paler? The lighter color. <laughs> lighter tones. But I want bright and vibrant and loud. So. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like that with the green though. The green in the back. So this is... One's yellow, one's green. I really like that green though. I think it makes the pink pink really pop. So I think that looks nice. I don't know about this yellow though. I'm not really digging that yellow either. Oh well, I'll just leave it. This video has gotten kind of kind of long with me rambling and talking and yeah. Alright, so there we go. We got two with the pink glitter, blue and yellow looking, and then one's purple and pink with the green glitter and then I've got the two uh, yellow with the pink flowers so apparently I got a lot of flowers with the pink center and then like I said I had a pack that came with um, this came with five flowers but I had another pack that came with a frame and one pink flower so that's how I got so many and then I've got one more pink flower here too but I only had six bottle caps so I'll do something else with that so yeah, grab yourself a couple of bottle caps, some glitter, some glue, some pop dots, and a couple of Sharpies here, some permanent markers, and you can color you up some pretty neat looking uh, bottle caps here. So thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day.